Welcome to Robert's Miniatures. Um, just a quick hobby tip that I use myself and I think might be quite useful for some people. Um, if you look at this Vallejo model paint, you will see it's a transparent yellow and I've never used it. I'm not even sure I've even opened it. You can see that the paint has separated. Sometimes you'll go, if you haven't used the paint for a few months, you will notice that the paint separates where you've got a heavier layer and a lighter layer. And sometimes it can be quite hard to mix them up. Now, if you listen while I shake my black primer, I hope you can hear that. You will notice that there's a little rattle. It sounds a bit like an aerosol. And this is because these of these. What I tend to do is when I get a new paint and open it for the first time, I get a little ball down. Ah, oh, you bugger. Sit still. Thank you. Open the paint, which I'm going to actually do it off camera um, because you can see, let me see. Yeah, open the paint, get your nail, and you will end up getting a little bit messy, no, no matter how well you try. Oh, you get bugger. Yeah. Okay, so take that off. Stainless steel we don't want the rust into the paint push back on use my little bit of kitchen towel to wipe my hand lid back on and hopefully you can hear that and what we have is a hopefully well mixed paint as you can see, I have been painting in the last couple of minutes. Um, well, I've been undercoating these black, these um, mantic golems. And so, you can excuse my dirty hand, but that is how I mix my paints. Little ball bearings. They, and it will work for all kinds of paints. You can put them in the GW, Coat de Arms, Vallejo, foundry, any paint that you want, and I think it's a good little tip. Thanks for watching, um, and I hope to speak to you soon.